Snacks, camping equipment, cooler, gonna need some beer. We'll buy it along the way. Sunscreen and bug spray. Okay, let's go to Golden Bay. Today we're driving from Nelson to the northern tip of the South Island. There's a beach there that we've been really wanting to see for quite some time. It's so nice that Microsoft uses it as one of their backdrops. It's only about a two and a half hour drive. We get to go over the Takaka Hill and see Golden Bay for the first time really. So this should be fun. stop and get some beer for this trip and why not check out Hot Federation's new tap room in the Rewaka Hotel. Just at Hawk's Lookout, it looks like there's a little 10 minute track to get a really cool view of the Tasman Bay. So I think it's probably worth us doing that. This kind of feels like a Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, beautiful like elven forest walk. Just lovely. And it's cool up here. Oh, that's nice. It was so hot down at the bottom of the mountains. If this viewpoint is really epic, this could end up being one of the best 10 minute hikes of my life. I should just call it a walk, it's not really a hike. Okay, well there you go, yep, it's worth it. Look at that. Oh man, I just absolutely love how many good viewpoints there are in New Zealand. This one is actually really great, uh, way better than what I was expecting. Oh, and there comes the sun. You just get such a beautiful view of Rewaka, Motueka, uh, Rabbit Island, Richmond, Nelson across the bay. Probably the worst time of day to be here right now just because it's so bright and hazy, but it's still really nice. Ah, uh, but we gotta keep hitting the road, so let's get over this hill. Takaka now, really beautiful town. Similar to Motueka, really walkable, lots of shops, cafes, little restaurants. It's pretty cool, I like it a lot. Tent set up, walk five minutes down the road. We're at the entrance or the trailhead. Looks like we got 20 minutes, one way, one kilometer. Oh man, I'm really looking forward to this beach. Perfect time of day.
This is massive. This is so cool. We haven't even seen the part that's featured in Microsoft or whatever. Holy smokes, this is neat. These waves are ginormous. There's so much sand. It just goes for days. It's kind of what I thought a lot of places in New Zealand would be like. Not that they were disappointing, but this one is, is really up there. Holy shit. Farariki Beach. It's a little bit out of the way, but oh man, it's already worth it. I've only been here for five minutes. After hanging out here for over half an hour, 40 minutes, taking some really cool photos, taking in the beach, I think we're gonna go to the spot where everyone else is and get that same photo. It's actually way bigger than I thought. Holy smokes. It's so cool. People are getting that classic running shot. Someone running down the beach with a hole in the rock right in behind them. It's, uh, it's pretty good. They've gone about 20 times now, um, but I don't think they got the shot they wanted yet. It's pretty cool though. Perfect time of day. Reflections off the water. The tide's coming in right now. Couldn't ask for anything better. You know, sometimes you just get so used to where you're living and every day just becomes a little bit of a cycle, just like it was back home. Coming out here and, you know, taking this little drive and walking this beautiful beach, seeing this landscape that you've seen so many times in photographs, in, in real life is uh, surreal. Yeah, these are the moments that make you go, yeah, that's why I wanted to do a working holiday visa. It's pretty cool. Might be a few hours until we see any stars. We got one up in the sky right now, so might go back to the campsite, get a little snack. Definitely want to get a few shots of the night sky here over the Tasman Sea. It's just, you can't not. Back at the campsite now. It's really nice and quiet. A lot of people are in this little community area having dinner and you know, wash it up and things like that. Right now, got a little Hop Federation beer to enjoy before we get the ultimate camping or travel snack, crackers and cheese. <laughs> ultimate travel snack. Absolutely. Sun's gone down, it's getting pretty dark. Stars are just lighting up the sky. We're gonna go back to the beach. That beach is so unique, and I'm pretty sure last night that it just kind of shot up the list of top places to see in New Zealand for us, because that was a, that was an experience to say the least. Probably not gonna forget that night for a long time. Brittany's packed up. We're gonna hit the road and go and explore a few more things in this area. So let's go check some shit out. meters to the lookout. I love that. I even have sandals or flip-flops or jandals depending on where you're from on. So yeah, 
digging this. This is super nice. Wow. Walking up, I was like, okay, we're at a sheep farm. It looks like we'll get to look out over some water, but there's a, another really cool arch here. And some really nice turquoise, aqua blue water just crashing up against the shore. Brittany's just going for it. She's going way up there. So I guess I'll try and avoid this sheep poop and, and join her. There's so much sheep poop here. This is easily the shittiest little walk of my life. Pillar Point track. I think it's 20 minutes up. A uh, person we just spoke to said if you walk five, 10 minutes over, you get a beautiful view of the Farewell Spit. And if you don't know what the Farewell Spit is, it's this really cool, well, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't really describe it, but from the looks of it, it looks like a really cool like rock formation that goes way out into the water. So if we're here, we gotta go do it. landscape on this little walk is extremely diverse. Looks like we got a bit of a hill to climb to get to this lighthouse. Someone said 20 minutes each way. I think they completely and utterly lied to our faces. Made it to the lighthouse. Whew. It's not the nicest one here, um, but hey, it serves its purpose. Pretty cool that last night we're down on the beach taking this night photography and, you know, we just keep looking up towards here. See in the lighthouse, now we're at the lighthouse looking down at the beach. But I'm pretty sure right around the corner, we're gonna see the spit. Just saw like a sliver of it. It looks way bigger than I ever thought it would. Um, pretty epic. We're just walking on a fairly flat little pathway over to, uh, over to the edge. Hopefully we get a better view, but you get Golden Bay on the right and the spit on the left. This is absolutely worth it. That is way cooler than I would think it would be, to be honest with you. You see it on the map and you're like, okay, cool. Like, what is that? What'd you say, a sandbar? Bunch of rocks coming out. And then it's like, holy Santa Claus shit. That's huge. The mountains across the bay are uh, what we see every single day in Nelson. So it's so cool to be on the opposite side. This trip ended up being, I don't know, probably just what we needed. <laughs> This is definitely another one to add to your list. Like there's just so many amazing spots and in this Golden Bay area. Um, wow, we're left on a Friday, going home back to Nelson on a Saturday. So much to hit up, so much to see. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.